Today we're going to um, multiply mixed numbers, um, but before we get started, we need to, I want to review some things, okay? In order to multiply mixed numbers, you need to uh, be able to do a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, you need to be able to um, change a mixed number into an improper fraction, okay? Um, three and one half. So we have three and one half. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to multiply two times three plus one and put this over two. Now, um, I, I did a video on changing mixed numbers into improper fractions. So I'm just going to give you one example here. If you need more examples, please watch that video. Um, <clears throat> so let's, let's finish here. So I multiply 2 times 3 and I added 1. 2 times 3 plus 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. Alright? Okay. Um, so let's, let's get started here. Okay? Let's try um, 2 and 1 thirds times... 3 and 2 fifths. Okay? The first thing I want to do, I want to do this process and change my mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay? So over here on the side, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say um, 2 and 1 third equals 3 times 2 plus 1 over 3. I just brought my 3 over here. So, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7 over 3. Alright? So, for 2 and 2 thirds, I can write 7 thirds. I'm going to bring down my multiplication sign. Now I need to change this into an improper fraction. So I'm going to go over here on the side, 3 and 2 fifths. Um, equals 5 times 3 plus 2 or 5. So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17 fifths. So underneath this improper fraction, I'm going to change this to 17 fifths. All right. So now what I need to do, I need to multiply 17 times 5. I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm sorry, multi I'm going to multiply across. I'm sorry about that. 7 times 17 and I'll multiply 3 times 5. Well, 17 times 7 will give you 119 over 3 times 5 is 15. If you notice, I have an improper fraction here. So what I need to do, I need to divide 119 divided by 15. So I'm going to say 119 divided by 15. 119 will go into I'm sorry, 15 will go into 119 7 times. 15 times 7 is going to give you 105. And then I'm going to subtract. That's 14. So here's my whole number. Here's my numerator. There's my denominator. So my final answer is going to be, I'll put it down here, um, 7 and 14 fifteenths. And there you go. Okay? Let's work another one. Alright. Let's go with um, 3 and 3 fifths times 
one and two thirds. Okay. So I need to change this into an improper fraction and this mixed number into an improper fraction. So I'm going to go over here on the side <clears throat> and I'm going to say um, three and three fifths equals um, five times three plus three over five. Five times three is fifteen. Fifteen plus three is eighteen fifths. So instead of me writing three and three fifths, I can write eighteen fifths. I'm going to bring down my multiplication sign. Now I need to change this into a into proper fraction. So I have one and two thirds equals three times one plus two over three. Three times one is three plus two is five over three. So instead of me writing um, one and two thirds, I can write five thirds. All right. So now I'm going to multiply across. I've got to find out what is 18 times 5 and what is 5 times 3. Well, 18 times 5 is going to give you 90. And 5 times 3 is 15. Again, I have an improper fraction improper fraction so I need to divide 90 divided by 15 and that's going 15 will go into 90 six times six times 15 is 90 leaving me with a remainder of zero okay so this is a little bit different I've, I've never worked a problem like this in the videos before so this is my whole number this is my numerator and this is my denominator so I have six and zero fifteenths. Well, if I have nothing out of fifteen, I basically have nothing, so my final answer, so we can just cross that out, and the answer is going to be six. All right, let's go over that again. Okay, I changed my mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay, and this is the method that I used. Again, if you don't understand what I just did here, please watch the video on mixed numbers to improper fractions, okay? Now that I have two fractions here, I'm going to just multiply across. 18 times 5 and 5 times 3. 18 times 5 is 90 and 5 times 3 is 15. Now, since I created an improper fraction, I need to change this into a mixed number. So in order to do that, I'm going to divide 90 divided by 15. So I went down here and and I divided 90 divided by 15. I ended up with a whole number of 6, a numerator of 0, and a denominator of 5. So I wrote my whole number, my denominator, I'm sorry, my numerator, which is 0, over my denominator is 15. Okay? If I said that if I have nothing out of 15, then that's nothing. Whenever you have a zero in your numerator, that equals nothing, zero. So that means I can just forget about that and bring my six over, and that is my answer. Okay? I'd like for you to try one now. Okay. Um, four and one half times two and four fifths. Okay? If you'll please multiply those mix mixed numbers, please, and uh, freeze the video while you're doing it. Thank you. All right. Let's get, um, let's change this. Okay. All right. So we need to change this mixed number 
into an improper fraction. So I'm going to, going to go over here, 4 and 1 half equals 2 times 4 plus 1 over 2. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2. So instead of me writing 4 and a half, I can write 9 over 2. Okay. Bring my multiplication sign down. So I need to take this 2 and 4 fifths and change it into an improper fraction. So that's 2 and 4 fifths equals 5 times 2 plus 4 over 5. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14 fifths. So now instead of me writing um, 2 and 4 fifths, I can write 14 fifths. Now I need to multiply 14 times 9. Well, 14 times 9, I'm going to multiply 9 times 14 and 2 times 5. Um, 14 times 9 is 126 and 2 times 5 is 10. So now I need, now that I've created this improper fraction here, um, I need to change this improper fraction to a mixed number. So I'm going to divide 126 divided by 10. All right, so this is my whole number. This is my numerator. That's my denominator. So I have 12 and 6 tenths. Hmm. 6 tenths, both of those numbers are even numbers, so I know that a 2 will go into both of those, but I don't know if 2 is my greatest common factor. So I'm going to go over here and list my factors for 10 and for 6. 6 is going to be 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. 10 is going to be 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. Okay? My factors are 1 and 2. All right? But my greatest common factor is going to be 2. So I'm going to bring my 12 over here. And I'm going to divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So there's your final answer. All right. That's it for this video on multiplying mixed numbers. Um, please visit mathwithmoon.org for uh, future videos, for more videos, and leave your comments and suggestions. All right, have a great day. Bye.